We're in one of our bee yards in western North Carolina today. We're putting on propolis traps. I purchased about 200 of them from Man Lake. I've never done it before, so I'm not sure what to expect. I don't see why we wouldn't make at least a little bit. Um, we've just finished with our apigard treatments, and we're looking for colonies that are strong enough to get the trap put on them. I think I'm, I'm going to kind of approach it the same way I do a honey super. If they've got enough bees for honey super, I think they'll go ahead and get a propolis trap. And if they're weaker than that, we'll figure out why and work on them, but they won't get a propolis trap. Um, this particular yard makes plenty of propolis, no problem there. So uh, these traps are kind of interesting. Uh, one side is flat. It looks a little bit like a queen excluder, but the s slots are too narrow and B would never get through there. And the other side is kind of concave between the slots. It's, it's almost like a, a trough in there where the bees can pack the propolis. So we'll put that side down. Uh, we'll feed each colony before we put the trap on, and I'll show you how we are going to do it. Uh, it looks like this colony has plenty of bees. This, this rim was put on when we were doing our apigard treatment. Concave side down with the trough side down. A couple of sticks. I want to hold the lid up off of the trap, create a, a space full of light. I think we want that daylight under there between the lid and the trap. I think the bees are really going to try to fill that trap up with propolis to block the light and the draft. We're going to do it to every colony in this yard that's strong enough, and several other yards too. And then we'll come back in a couple weeks and check on it. We'll have to feed them a few more times before winter anyway, so we can watch the progress, progress on the traps as we do that. I'm pretty sure as soon as the nights start to cool off that the propolis will stop coming in. And that would be the time when we will go ahead and uh, really feed the bees heavy and get them really heavy for winter. But until that time, we will not have any buckets feeding on top of any of the stronger colonies. We'll just feed them with the inside feeders. This one is a little too weak in my opinion. Their apigard treatment is not gone completely. I believe there might be something wrong with this colony. So I'm just gonna dive in and see what's wrong. May need a new queen, maybe queenless, I don't know. But this one will not receive a trap. I got propolis traps on most of these colonies, or I should say most of the double deeps. Obviously we can't feed the singles with a bucket through a propolis trap. Um, and a few of the singles needed requeening and weren't quite strong enough, but all in all, I think we got a yard here that'll make us some. We'll see. Be back in a couple of weeks and check it out. Okay, so we got all of our propolis traps in this freezer, getting them cold, just like you hear and read about. Um... We're not entirely happy with how the propolis is coming off of these traps. Let's show them how we're doing this, Jesse. The bulk of it comes off just by folding and beating on the trap, but a lot is left behind. This idea that all you have to do is fold or crinkle the propolis trap and it all comes off, as near as I can tell, is not correct. That, that takes a lot off the back, but still. Hmm. 
Yeah. It doesn't just all fall out. I'm not entirely happy with how this is going. Maybe somebody watching this video will have a trick up their sleeve that they can put in the comments. So far, I'm not happy with the process of just freezing the propolis straps and folding them. It doesn't all come out of there nicely. You can beat on it with a hive tool and scrape on it with a plastic scraper and do all this stuff and you're still leaving 10 or 20 percent of it behind. And maybe that's just the way it is. Maybe that's as good as it gets, but uh, I sure wish we could get it all off of there. We tried, uh, there was a... Yeah, we tried a brush on a drill. That didn't work. We tried beating on it with hive tools like I've seen in other videos. I've watched four or five other videos on trapping propolis and it looks like everybody does the same thing. They just kind of beat it out of there and rub it out of there. It's uh, it's not quite as simple as I thought it might be. Once the propolis starts warming up, you have to put it back in the freezer and start on another one. Yeah, it just takes a minute or two for it to get too warm and soft. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're getting some propolis out of these things. This is just a few traps so far. I just wish it was a little easier like I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to beekeeping. Nothing is as easy as it seems. Let's try another one, Jesse. Let's see what the next one looks like. All right. So again, we just have them all in a freezer. They've been in there for a while. Take them out one at a time and brought two out. He was uh two nice looking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the bees did their job. We got some progress here. So far, that's removed more than other method but yeah just not quite getting all of it out of there without really working it up you can you can kind of crunch it and wiggle it and, hmm. I guess you don't want to use a wire brush huh? you no. that wire well with a wire brush I'd worry about the wire strands of wire getting in there yeah and it uh, this this plastic actually uh, um, comes up pretty easy with metal. Okay. Yeah, if you, yeah. we tried using a sharp hive tool and scraping and... So you'll have pieces of plastic in Yeah, we don't want that either. Yeah, no. Just doesn't... Doesn't want to... Well, I guess we got, what, like 80% of it? Yeah. It is adding up fast. I mean, I can't complain. We're getting some propolis here quickly, but just hate to leave that other 10 or 20 percent behind. That just might be the way it is. Anyway, we'll trudge on. You got, let's see, you got five or six done. There's only about 190 left to go. <laughs> right. If anybody has any ideas, you know, put them in the comments. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay, I'll put this up tomorrow morning. We'll see what kind of comments we get. All right, sounds good. All right.